You're listening to 90.3 KEXP Audio Oasis. My name is Charlize, and you're listening to the Capitol Hill Block Party edition of the show tonight. And I scheduled a very special performance by Kids Simple here. Audio Oasis, KEXP, Seattle.
You're listening to Kids Simple live on Audio Oasis, KEXP. Hey, what's oh, up? Did you have, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I Did you just play two songs? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so you just heard Tender Horns, which is an unreleased track. Yes. And then also Why Did I Breathe, which is from an upcoming EP. Yeah. Well, Armor EP. Yeah. The EP came out actually on uh, last week. It did or come mon- out last week. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's how, and that track actually features um, a local producer, DJ Ao, on cool. the vocals. Yeah. Not live, obviously, but... Dropping um, gems. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's funny because I was really focusing with this interview, I was focusing a lot on the Skylight mm-hmm. record. And um, I didn't even consider that you had <laughs> an EP come yeah. out last week, yeah. so I apologize. Well, it just came out. It's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, that's great. Thanks for coming to the show and performing mm-hmm. um, the new tracks on the show Mm -hmm. um and you thanks for coming to the show after block party (laughs) yeah how was it It it's awesome yeah it felt really good yeah first time i've played out like in the daytime oh yeah kind of to like an outdoor crowd which is kind of an unusual setting for my music yeah but it was cool yeah um i feel like in your music i hear the rain yeah (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. because i feel like a lot of people focus on the night stuff with your mm-hmm. music. Yeah. But, um, I read an interview where you actually talked about the weather and mm-hmm. Seattle. Yeah. Uh, and that has an influence on your music. Yeah. I mean, it has a huge influence. I, I feel like, like, anywhere you are, you know, your environment's going to influence oh, what definitely. you make. Like, kind of, probably in like a subconscious way. But yeah, when people tell me my music sounds like, like the weather here, I completely agree. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, um, you are 22. 20, I, 20. I just turned 23, actually. Gosh, a lot, of, so, yeah. a lot of things have so been happening. A lot of new things happened. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a new EP and a new age. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's see. So how did you get started producing? Um, so I guess I started producing in high school. I was playing like in bands before that, playing like guitar and bass. Yeah. And then I started to kind of get into like making hip hop beats. Um, yeah. And I was just doing that for fun, like in high school. And then later in college, I kind of went on to experiment more with that and it just kind of turned into like this project you have been very busy in the last couple years yeah a lot of things have happened to you yeah it's been crazy it's awesome (laughs) um one of the things that i wanted to ask you about was um you are a red bull academy Mm -hmm. uh, red bull music academy alumni yeah can you explain what that is um so the academy is uh, sorry the academy is um uh basically it's a it's like an event, really, that happens every year in a different city, and Red Bull puts it on, and it's essentially like you apply, um, you send in a demo, and then if you're accepted, you basically uh, get to participate in like two weeks of just lectures and um, a bunch of studio time. Like they set up all these really nice studios, and then kind of the idea is to get a bunch of artists that they um, feel good about to get them in the same room together and kind of yeah. work together and also inspire them with, you know, they bring in like tons of legendary musicians to lecture and um also they have it's kind of like almost like a music festival goes on while the event happens too because they have shows every night in the city that's held yeah so it was here in seattle and it was in new york this year it was was in in new york it was in seattle like a few years ago though cool So yeah it moves around and obviously you had a great experience yeah it was amazing talk about some of your favorite experiences um yeah uh, I got to see, like, Philip Glass lecture. That was kind of incredible. Cool. I got to see, there's just, like, a tons, of, tons of people I looked up to lecture, like, uh, Boy Wanda, who's produced a bunch of stuff for Drake, and really, like, kind of his style of hip-hop production, and um, also just going to all the shows. Yeah. Um, they're, like, every night, they, they'd they have, like, these artists perform pretty much, and every night was amazing, and also playing in New York, first time I've played out there, so. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. cool. And, um, I, some other influences in your music is you have a an hip a hip hop influence. Mm-hmm. Have you worked with any hip hop artist? Um, I I've made tracks for some. Mm-hmm. Nothing has come out yet, and I don't really know what's going on with them. But um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I have done that, and mm-hmm. I've actually that's a thing I've been working on lately. That's kind of something I want to get more into is making like instrumentals for people. Yeah. So I've been I've been doing that, but there's no like official news yet of, of anything going cool. on. Cool. Yeah. I was wondering. Yeah. And um, before we get back into your performance, um, 
the Skylight remixes, you did a volume one and a volume two, Mm -hmm. and they represent a lot of local producers and producers from around the world. I've never even heard of some (laughs) of them. Um, Why did you choose to do the remix volumes? Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a collaborative idea with Alex Reeder who runs the label that the releases came out of. Also DJ at KESP Uh and has championed you for quite some time. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of a collaborative idea of just, yeah, that that was basically was the idea to get a bunch of local producers and also just like friends and producers that we really like from all over to just um, remix album if they wanted to or remix tracks off the album. Cool. Yeah. And how did you guys decide who <laughs> you wanted to work it was, on the songs? It was insane. Um, there's, I mean, we ended up with 20 remixes, which I don't think we realized that we were doing that until we had them all. Um, so that took a lot longer than we expected probably, but it was just like, we just, just people that we thought would be cool to have them remix. Awesome. It's really up. cool. And Thanks. I love compilations like that because mm-hmm. they're all about discovery. Yeah, so, exactly. Cool. Well, thank you for that. Um, awesome. So you have a couple more songs? Yeah. Cool. Kids Simple live on Audio Oasis, KEXP. Thank you. 
You've been listening to a live performance of Kid Simple on Audio Oasis on KEXP.